What is up Shredders? Today I'm here to talk to you about the Dimebag Daryl Distortion Pedal from MXR. This pedal is okay at best. I really tried to make it sound as good as I possibly could, but is a very challenging prospect. Let me know down below what you think of the Dimebag Daryl <laughs> Dime Daryl Distortion Pedal. Uh, have you ever come across it? Have you ever had it in a setup? Have you ever tried it out? What kind of settings do you like on it? Just let me know what you think about the Dimebag Daryl Distortion Pedal right here. Um, the thing I like about this pedal is that I won this off of Ola England's Discord directly from Ola England and for me it's a nice memento of one of my favorite YouTubers of all time and he even signed the back here saying good luck and that's exactly what you're gonna need when you use the Dimebag Distortion pedal right here is luck more or less. Old England has made two videos on the Dimebag Distortion pedal, this exact pedal that was on his video. It feels good to have such a memento with me but uh, you can go check those out. He, will, he goes through all the presets, he tries to make it sound as best he can but he's ultimately underwhelmed with it and to be honest, I have the same exact perspective on this pedal. Uh, you want it to sound like Dimebag Daryl, and you kind of get a hint of Dimebag Daryl with this pedal, but uh, overall it's just very underwhelming. I find the EQ to be very, very hissy, even when you're moving the mids around. The mids, to me, sound like it's almost the secondary treble, especially when you put it up more, because you get more hiss. You're not getting that body that you would generally get from a mid knob here. And the scoop is very underwhelming too. You kind of get that cool razor's edge type of sound that comes with a scoop sound. And you can kind of get that hint of Dimebag Daryl sound with the scoop. But ultimately I find the scoop to be very uh, terrible sounding. In my opinion, if you want to get more of a Dimebag Daryl sound, the Metal Zone is actually a better pedal for getting a Dimebag Daryl sound because the EQ is much more reactive than this thing. Ultimately it's just very hard to dial in a great sound with this thing. In my opinion this hasn't really aged well. The best thing about this pedal is really the look of the pedal. I think the camo with Dimebag's face on it just looks good. But ultimately this pedal should have been left back in the early 2000s. It's not as good as it used to be. Even then I would highly doubt that it was even anything special. I would actually rate this under the Metal Zone in my opinion. A lot of people talk crap about the Metal Zone but it is slightly in my opinion higher tier than the Dimebag Daryl Distortion Pedal. This thing is just not up to snuff and uh, it really shows when you go to play through it. To be honest this pedal is not worth the money in my opinion. To me it sounds like a flubby turbo distortion uh, or a hissy turbo distortion. It doesn't have it doesn't have that between that really makes it a better distortion pedal. It has it's just either one or the other more or less. You can't really get a nice balanced sound out of it. I, I tried to get the most balanced sound I could out of it at the end here and I think that's the best set I had when I went to play this distortion with the Tube Screamer but ultimately uh, there's way better distortion pedals out there and if you're looking for the Dimebag Daryl sound look elsewhere this pedal does not sound anywhere close to Dimebag Daryl you kind of get a hint of his sound but ultimately uh, it's very not that great uh, let me know what you think about this pedal down in the comments below Okay, this is the clean channel with nothing on it. And this is the clean channel with the dime distortion on.
Okay, so, so far I can't get a really good tone out of this thing. So far it's been, the best I can get is okay. So I'm going to use some of the presets down here. We're going to see if these sound any good or not. So the first preset I'm going to do is the dimed preset. Hopefully it sounds like Dimebag Daryl. Okay, this is the dime setting. Let's see if it sounds like Dimebag Daryl or not. <laughs> Okay, the next preset I'm going to do is called the Ruthie's In, and let's see what this sounds like. Okay, this is the Ruthie's In. <laughs> Okay, the last preset I'm gonna do is the cutting edge. Let's hear what this thing sounds like. Okay, this is the cutting edge. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to do is try to get the absolute best sound I can out of this pedal. I'm going to use a tube screamer to push my guitar into this pedal and I'm going to try my best to get this to sound as good as I can. This is with the tube screamer on.
If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time. Uh, and uh, Hang around for 20 seconds until this video ends. <laughs>